word cancer, it's strong. I just kept thinking right away, am I going to die? Is this it for me? Finally, I got past the meditative state and the shock and said, okay, what do we do next? The radiologist came in and said, you know, I see something rather funky on your breast. And I'm being a nurse, I said, you know, describe funky. And he said, why don't you get dressed and come into the other room and we'll talk. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And I said, just give it to me straight. Um, like I said, I'm a nurse and I just like it. It's a straight shooter, tell me what's going on. And he said, well, I suspect you have cancer. I felt like I needed to be aggressive about it. Right away, my decision was gonna to be to have a mastectomy. And I, I just wanted the cancer out. My surgeon was Dr. Blanchard. And she made me feel um, comfortable. I trusted her immediately. And she was to the point. And that's exactly what I needed. I'm a to the point person. So when she had the plan already set up for me, it was comforting. There are different medications that you can take. The most common one is called tamoxifen. You know, we'll do the mastectomy and we'll get you started on tamoxifen. So that was, that was the plan. It didn't work out so well, but that was the plan. Tamoxifen has some side effects that can cause major depression. No medicine was really working for me. It was creating too many emotional problems. They took me off all medications and I had more frequent diagnostic testing. So it was um, the mammograms, the ultrasounds, the communication with the physicians on a regular basis. I had um, four surgeries in less than a year. I did get reactions from the tamoxifen. It affected my uterus and my ovaries, and I had a follow-up appointment with Dr. Shorter, and um, the plan was a hysterectomy, uh, essentially. So I had my surgery here at Stafford with Dr. Shorter, and it was an awesome experience. I feel like I owe so much to Dr. Shorter because she was the person that initially found the issue in my breast and then address the issues with my uterus and my ovaries. And I remember when I did have my surgery at Stafford, the comfort level, the service, and the care that was provided to me was the best care that I can ask for. My reconstructive surgery was done with Dr. Aurora at Mary Washington Hospital. I knew that I had options, but some of the options that were artificial were not something I I wanted to consider. I wanted my own flesh, I wanted my own body to work with, and he, he was able to provide that for me. He's meticulous, and what he gave me back, that femininity, he gave me that. And it, there, there's no words to describe the gratefulness I have for that. This year I'll make my sixth year cancer-free. I feel grateful to this organization, Mary Washington Stafford, because of that. I was a practicing nurse at the time. Um, I had comments made, well, why would you have your stuff done here? It's so private. And my answer to that is I want it done by the best. It took a long time for me to feel like myself again, but I'm strong, I'm active, I'm working. I couldn't feel any better than I do now. I take life and I take it like it's my last day, you know, day by day, it's my last day, get it done you know, enjoy life, so I feel great, yeah.